I hope y'all got y'all pens and notebooks, bro, because class is in session, man. What's good, YouTube, man? It's your boy CJ, aka No Limit CJ. Welcome to a brand new video. Now, today I got the most ultimate dribble. Work out my way, shorty. Best dribble move tutorial. Whether you're a beginner, whether you're an expert, man, I got the best dribble tutorial. I'm gonna show you guys how to do every single move that you guys see in streams. These moves are gonna take your player to the next level. I know a lot of you guys are looking to make a new guard or maybe already on a guard and not really know what to do, man. I got the complete package. I'm also gonna show you guys my dribble moves in just a second. Before we get into all that good stuff, man, if you guys are new to the channel, you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button. You might have seen me before and not hit it before. Just might as well do it, man. We're posting the best content on YouTube, especially season four. You don't want to miss the content we got in store. Also, the like button too. Make sure to make it blue if you guys want to help another dribbler out. Share this video to a guard that you guys want to get better at this game. If they need to learn some of these moves, make sure you share this video. That being said, let's get straight to this dribble moves, man. Now, here are my updated animations. I am on my 6-1 guard, my brand new 6-1 guard. I finally got Trey Young and all that good stuff. But every single one of these moves are very important for each move I show you guys. So make sure you guys pay close attention. Michael Jordan's gonna be the dribble style, just the fastest one out of every single one. If you cannot get Mike Jordan, make sure you put on Gabby Williams because it's almost the same. Michael Jordan's way better though. Signature size up now. I changed my signature size from Steve Friends to Giannis. Reason being is because all you need is a 65 ball handle. So it's friendly with pretty much any build. And also, it's still probably the second best thing. If you're a rim runner, this is a really good one. If you like to combo up and do a lot of standstill, you might want to use De'Aaron Fox, Tracy McGrady, or Steve Francis. Steve Francis is the fastest one. Trey Young size up escape really good. You can go with John Wall, Damian Lillard, any one of these, but I will say Trey Young is the best. Moving across, I'm gonna go with James Harden because I feel like it gets less ripped than like a Russell Westbrook or Donovan Mitchell. Both really good crossovers, but they kind of like hold the ball too far out moving behind the back i don't do these very often but damian lillard is really good probably the best one any other one i'm not really sure which one you should go with moving spin i use basic this is the best one to use hey we're gonna be showing this move off in the tutorial too so make sure you put on basic moving heads you can go with any one of these like five over here even normal they all do like the same thing it's almost like you won't really do them often but for my sake i use kevin durant just in case i ever do it or something moving step back i know a lot of people like to switch it up between normal jimmy butler and luca let me tell you this the austin slide we're gonna be going over in this video one of the moves we're going over in this video require the normal Normal moving step back, so I would try normal. You can do it. You can even get this on your big man, bro. So you guys are in luck too. Now, in my opinion, I feel like the best spot to actually practice your dribble moves, bro, is pro am five v five or three v three, whatever one. But the reason why is because you can dribble full court and not lose any of your acceleration bars. As you guys can see, I'm speed boosting, not using any adrenaline bars. I'm doing all my speed boost moves. I just push you one, hit that like button too, man. You know what I'm saying? So starting off, I'm gonna start with some basic moves, and then we're gonna keep getting better and better and better. You know what I'm saying? That's how life goes. Now, dribble number one, I'm gonna show you guys is the attack crossover. So you guys see the control cans on the left side of your screen. All you wanna do is do a moving crossover and run out of it. This is very basic, you know what I'm saying? A lot of you guys should know what this move is. Let's say you're trying to get to the basket and someone's kind of clamping you. You could do the attack crossover and get to the rack and get you a little easy free dunk, you know what I'm saying? It works for both ways, but how do you do this? You know what I'm saying? Very simple. All you want to do is flip the right stick in the direction you want to go. So if the ball is in my right hand right now, how about I move my player? But if the ball is in my right hand, you want to flip the left stick to the diagonally up left just like that you know what i'm saying you guys see the control cam kind of just flicking it up to the other ball hand you're gonna do that and then run out of it so as soon as the dribble hits the floor you're gonna sprint out of it and it gives you this move right here it's gonna let you speed boost but if you do it and it's gonna give you this move right here the little speed boost move but if you do it too late it won't necessarily or too early it's gonna give you momentum if you do it too early but it doesn't have to be all in one move like let's say you want to like just do a couple dribble moves together you change something up and then you can do it right out of it so it's like if they step up on you you do a step back then you can just blow right past them or shoot the open three i use like steve francis is smooth if you guys use steve francis Francis is faster than this, but I feel like Giannis is like way more smoother. It's like you kind of know what you're doing. You're not out of control, nothing like that. But both of them will give you the same move, a little speed boost out the rim. And I feel like this is a this is such an essential. If you don't know how to do this, bro, make sure you get this down. It's super super easy. And that's the first move. The second move I want to show you guys is a little snatch back right here. This one right here, you guys probably see me do this a lot of times, and some people are still confused how to do it, which is all good. That's why it's a tutorial. You know what I'm saying? What you want to do is super simple. By the way, all you want to do is hold RT or R2, whatever console you're on. Flip the right stick up and the left stick down. This is what it looks like right here. And you guys see the control cam. I'm not doing nothing fancy. All I'm literally doing is the same movement. It doesn't matter which hand it's in. Hold RT, flip the right stick up and the left stick down. Just like that. Every single time. Sometimes if you do it at the wrong time, it's going to give you that move you guys just seen. Make sure you be careful because I feel like 2K dribbling is low-key delayed in a way. Like you can flip the right stick up and it'll like do it 10 seconds later. So as you guys can see, boom, it can either get you open for three, you can shoot out of it, or you can rim run out of it. This speed boost is crazy. So let's say you put two and two together, the first two moves, right? I do a crossover, then a snatch back. I and run back out of it and gives me a crazy speed boost to the rim or a three but it's cool because you can do a move first and it makes you almost dribble even faster than if you were to just sprint and run out of it you know what i'm saying this move is way better when you're comboing up with something so if you like do a momentum behind the back momentum behind the back and then a snatch back like that's a good combo to do and then you can sprint out of it and get you an easy rim run or a three even if you're open you can shoot it but the snatch back is definitely a must learn for dribblers definitely new or old i feel like everybody every dribbler should be doing this man at one point in your dribble career you know what i'm saying one point in your dribble career the next move i want to show you guys is the 
the awesome slide. So what, what this move basically is, it's basically that move you guys be seeing when the guard or any build comes down and does this move right here. It looks simple. Like it's, it's like, what's, what is that? But let me tell you, man, the switch in direction is crazy. Like you can really just like do different moves. The awesome slide and you guys can see I'm to the rack. It's like I just cross over the court. This move might be the easiest move in the video. I'm not going to lie. But all you got to do is basically run and flick the right stick down. Make sure, make sure when you do it though, this might be the easiest move to do in this video. But all you want to do is run down the court and flick the right stick down. As simple as that. You want to just run, flick the right stick straight down. You guys can see it gave me the little slide. It's not like a hold thing though. If you hold it, sometimes, sometimes like when you're running, it might give you like a little step, this step back right here. But most times when you're sprinting, you do the awesome slide. You can just keep going, right? You can keep the momentum going. I have no stem. But it's such a good move to do, especially in transit. I love doing this move in transition, like the record of uh, threes, because I can just switch my direction and just go to an open shot or dunk. It just makes your defense have to like set up better. You know what I'm saying? You can combo up, boom, boom. And I got the awesome slide. Easy bang out, you know what I'm saying? I'll show you guys combos in just a little bit, but make sure you guys just get these moves down, you know what I'm saying, the basic ones. Now it's time to get a little bit more complicated, man. I'm gonna show you guys a couple dream moves. These moves aren't necessarily like difficult to do, but it's like it requires more than just like one like right stick flick. I think I show it better than I tell it, but I'll show you guys real quick. Boom, that move right there, you guys see I kind of like did it a little in and out hezzy, like that was pretty smooth. That move was very broken, but the thing is when you practice it in here, it's almost harder to do it than in part. Like I'm telling you, you can probably get this move down in here, but if you get it down in part, that's all that matters. I'm telling you right now. So what you gotta do, for some reason I've been doing it better on the left, is if the ball is in your left hand, you wanna flip the right stick to the left, but the left stick diagonally down right. So basically this is what it looks like right here. I flip the right stick down, just get this move down right here. I flip the right stick straight across as you guys can see. So once you get the right stick part down, you wanna basically incorporate the left stick into it. It's a little delayed, but it's gonna look like this. You guys see the controller cam. I flick the right stick first and then the left stick. The zero moves this year for some reason are kind of delayed. Once you feel comfortable doing it, then you can incorporate the speed boost in it, and that's how you can run out of it and go crazy. If you do decide to use RT with it the whole time, like hold it the whole time, be aware that this animation right here, bro, happens to me like 10,000 times. It's weird. So I would try, I would recommend you, bro, just get this move down and then incorporate the running into it after. After you do the move, then you can run out of it. This is without a doubt one of my go-to moves, man. I love killing with this because it just you just never know where they're gonna go. Like they can either keep going that same direction. Direction. That's why it's a hesit. You know what I'm saying? It's a hesitation to make them think they can go one way, but you're really going the other way. And for the right side, it's vice versa, man. I would recommend getting both sides down because if you can learn this move right here, bro, you're just gonna notice the difference of blow buys you get like per game. I don't even know if you guys count that. I definitely don't count that, but I'm just letting you guys know now, bro. This is gonna be one of the, your go-to moves, bro. It's gonna be such a good move to chain and go crazy with, man. The next move I want to show you guys is the peak slash fake quick stop. So I feel like it's better at the three-point line. So I'm gonna be running out of stamina. I'm just gonna show you guys. You're gonna run and then tap LT and you do like a fake almost like a fake shot it makes you look like you're about to shoot it but you're not but you can also peek and shoot out of it for those of you that you know use LT to quick stop and just set your feet to shoot you can fake out of it I feel like it's not much people really do this that often but it's like a fake shot and then you can just speed boost right back out of it now this is not a move you can spam though because if you do it three times your stamina bar is gonna keep going as you guys can see I lost one but let's say you're comboing up right you kill him you might think you might think you're about to shoot it bro nah you can fake it out and just go another move man so if you combo up right you're cooking up or whatever you know saying combo one up you can do a fake peek and act like you're about to shoot it and then hit a fade or something just to, like really throw them off guard all you got to do like i said tap lt at the three point or wherever you're at honestly i just think it's more effective at the three point line you could be running in the middle of running you could just tap lt simply and or l2 and you get yourself a little fake peek the next move i want to show you guys is a little spin yo y'all have definitely seen this move before where someone just runs down the court and hits you with that little spin move i'm showing you guys how to do it in this video it's not complicated but it's like one of those moves that you have to pull out and know when you got to pull it out all you have to do is when you're running like running towards the rim or something you flick the right stick from 12 which is up here right this is 12 o'clock you guys know your clocks yeah 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 you feel me you flick your right stick from 12 to 3 o'clock so which is this to this all you got to do is flick the right stick from 12 to 3 o'clock if you're on the if the ball is in your right hand if the ball is in your left hand like this you got to flick your right stick from 12 to 9 which looks like let me show you guys what it looks like i'm running and i flick it like this you guys see the control okay make sure you pay attention and it's going to give you that little spinny spinny move that you guys see these guards doing out here and it's going to work every single time make sure you guys pay attention with which hand it's in though because if the ball in your right hand or left hand you cannot do the same thing because it's gonna give you this little freaky spin right here i don't know what this is so if the ball's in your left hand you gotta flick it the other way like vice versa so like this you guys see look at the controller cam i flick it just like that for me i like to flick it like up and down almost like so like in the three in like a 180 i like to do a 180 with it i feel like i'm more comfortable like that but really all you gotta do is flick it from 12 to 3 and it's gonna give you this right here i like to do it just a full motion almost like a 180 because and it's gonna give you that little basic spin you guys seen so i like to combo up first and then do it um i know a lot of people have the luka donch's uh, step back so you can actually set your feet but truthfully
beautifully sold you could just do a little spin tap lt and then shoot it that's that's another way to do it if you don't have the lucas step back now i showcased this move a little while ago and this is the little tween spam i showed you guys which is through the leg spam now i showed you guys this move a little while ago but this is basically the tween leg spam you guys can do up the court this is crazy right i finally learned it this move looks so complicated on paper and it took me a while to get it but i'm gonna break it down to you the way i figured it out and i feel like this will help you guys out a lot but just keep in mind you want to make sure you start you want to flick the basically want to flick the right stick up right you're almost like spamming flicking the right stick up so this is what this is what that does for you but you got to incorporate the left stick in it too so once you get this move down right all it is is holding r2 and flick the right stick up spamming it but to incorporate the left stick in it if the ball is in my left hand i'm gonna flick the left stick up to the right and it should give you this cross right here so it's, it's almost like that, that cross right there you guys seen but i'm gonna slow it down so you guys can understand it all you're gonna do flick the right stick up and flick the left stick in the other direction so as you guys can see i'm kind of spamming it now i'm gonna slow-mo it in just a second You go mess up a lot of times, but once you get the muscle memory, that's literally the hardest part to do. You get the muscle memory down, then it's just gonna feel like a normal move you're normally doing. You know what I'm saying? You can really cook up with it. I think it's really just one of those fancy drip moves. It just looks smooth, right? It just looks like you're saucing up, you know what I'm saying? Cooking up, oh, double momentum into the rack. That's tough. It's one of those moves I'm learning how to like chain in these next few days while the season's about to end. I'm gonna be in the lab. And once I learn this move, bro, and how to actually chain it with all my other moves, I'm gonna be nasty out there, man. Just think like that, bro, and it's gonna help you guys live. It's really not rocket science, though. Really just make Make sure you pay attention to how you're like moving the left stick and right stick i thought you had to do like all oh, this you know what i'm saying but really all it is bro you flick the right stick up every single time it doesn't change straight up you're just gonna flick continuously in the direction that you're going so if you're flicking the ball to the left diagonally up left and you're flicking the ball to the right diagonally up right and i feel like that's pretty helpful to know you know what i'm saying just a little tip of advice so you're not just going straight sideways or diagonally down or anything like that you can really just get this move down now all these moves will take time bro i keep saying it over and over but these moves will take time to really master and all that good stuff you don't just get on the game and be like oh this is easy but if you took five minutes to master every single move i promise you i feel like you can get all these moves really down if this tutorial helped you in any way shape or form bro please consider hitting that subscribe button as we're gonna keep posting tutorials lit gameplays builds all that good stuff man you guys definitely don't want to miss the next video if you guys are looking for the best point guard build to make click this video right here on your screen i promise you this is gonna take over season four